Okay, today we're going to install the hidden inserts inside the axis shafts. Uh, the, your dozen shafts are going to come with a nice package with all these items in it. It's going to have your glue, two-part epoxy. It's going to have your, your uh, tool for locating the inserts inside the shaft to the proper depth, a grinding stone, and your 12 inserts. Also in the package are going to be some simple directions to follow if you have any questions. So we'll go through those. That will help you out a lot, but I'm going to show you how I do it. After the shafts are cut to length, you take the stone and you're going to deburr it. There's a little dimple on there and that will help break that sharp corner inside the shaft so your broadhead or field tips has nothing to hang up on. Okay. Once they are cleaned out, you need to clean the inside of the shaft out. And they recommend denatured alcohol. You can buy that at just about any hardware store. comes in uh, quarts or gallons. I use a Q-tip and that insert is going to be buried inside there so you need to go inside that tube all the way and come out. You'll see a little bit of dirt and I will do actually six uh, shafts per side of the Q-tip so one Q-tip will last a dozen shafts. Once you have that done, the denatured alcohol dries very quickly and while it's drying, you can mix your epoxy. It's 50-50, one part A to one part B, on a, a piece of uh, plastic. And squirt it out, mix it up with a toothpick or a, like a popsicle stick, get it very well covered. What I like to use is Power Bond. What you're going to do is you just need to put a little drop on top. I have a small bead around there. Take your shaft get it in there and I will rotate the shaft and move it up and down. You want to get it to about oh, a quarter inch out and if there's any glue squirting out this is when you wipe it off on a paper napkin. This tool is going to set the depth so you stick that into the end of the insert and all you do is push until you bottom out on the end of that tool. That is also now cleaning the inside of that shaft so there's no glue residue. This insert is set to the proper depth in the shaft. Do not stand it up. Do not put it in the corner. It needs to lay horizontal for at least an hour. I prefer them to lay that way for at least eight hours before we uh, use them or ship them. So again, just a little bead of glue. If you had your epoxy mixed up, you would just touch your epoxy, put a little bit on there, insert it in the shaft, rotate it, spread that glue around, get it to that point, wipe off any excess glue, Push that in until it stops. When you pull back, those little rings on there are cleaning the inside of the shaft off. Set that arrow down. You've got plenty of time for this glue before it cures, so you don't have to be in too big a hurry. Get it in there, spread it out, wipe off any excess glue, put it in there, wipe it off. Set your arrows down. Again, at least an hour to stay in that position. I like them to stay that way for at least eight hours before I'll actually use them or ship them. But that's how you install the hidden inserts inside the beam and axis shafts.